Two NFL players arrested in South Florida are now out of jail. DeAndre Baker and Quentin Dunbar are accused of multiple armed robberies. CBS 4's Mike Cuneo has the latest developments in the case. NFL players Quentin Dunbar and DeAndre Baker bonded out of a Broward jail Sunday evening. Dunbar, seen here, was arrested on charges of four counts of armed robbery. Baker the same, with an additional four charges of aggravated assault with a firearm. Good morning, Mr. Dunbar. I'm Michael Davis. I'm a, a circuit court judge here in Broward County. Both were in bond court earlier in the day. The charges stemming from an incident where they allegedly stole cash and watches from a party on May 13th, where police say they were taking part in illegal gambling. According to Dunbar's lawyer, the four victims and one eyewitness have come forward to recant their original statement to police. Since the issuance of the arrest warrant, I have had those same four victims and an independent witness come to my office and sign off on affidavits completely recanting what they stated to the police. The state took issue with those new affidavits. The same four victims have now, within 48 hours, which is suspect, have gone and recanted. And what's interesting about the recant is two parts. One, they recant only in regards to Dunbar. They don't say anything as in regard to the co-defendant. Baker, that co-defendant and his lawyer, claimed to have more affidavits from people at the party. In total, there was around 20 in attendance. In regards to uh, Mr. Baker, we actually have uh, more affidavits than we provided to the state, and that was for uh, a little strategic uh, defense issue in case this case goes forward. Both Baker and Dunbar are South Florida locals. Baker, who plays for the New York Giants, graduated from Miami Northwestern Senior High. He bailed out for $200,000, $25,000 per charge. Dunbar went to Booker T. Washington and played college ball at the University of Florida. He bailed out at $100,000, also $25K per charge. As part of their pretrial programs, both men have been ordered to stay away from witnesses and turn over any firearms they may own. Mike Cunio, CBS4 This Morning.